Okay, so the question in this video is who do I do the role play with? Okay, who is the person that I'm going to be pretending to be a nurse with? Who, who is the patient? Okay, now you may have noticed in the last video I spoke about the interlocutor. That's, that's what we call them, the interlocutor. It's just the person you're speaking to in the exam. Okay, but who is that really? Who is the interlocutor? Well, the first thing to, to realize uh, is that they are not the examiner. Okay, so the interlocutor is not your examiner. What OET do is they record your speaking and they send that speaking through to the OET uh, center in Australia. Okay, so they're going to send a recording of your test off to Australia and two people will listen to that and they'll grade that. Okay, uh, the person you're with then, who are they? Well, to be honest, they're probably going to be an English teacher, probably. Um, but they could also be an actor of some kind. They've been trained by OET to do those role plays specifically. Okay, so when you come in, um, in those first three minutes in the exam, they might ask you a few questions, they might say hello, they might be quite nice. Okay, but when the role play starts, be prepared that they might start getting angry or interrupting you, right? They might not be very nice in the role play itself. That's not because they're horrible people, okay? It's because that's what OET wants in the role play. Okay, so just be prepared uh, for the fact that firstly, although the person is not your examiner, okay, they, they might be a bit difficult in the role play. Okay, at the same time though, just to finish off this video, at the same time, don't forget that that person's job is to help you to perform the role play. Okay, they're not trying to stop you doing well. They're just trying to, they want to get actually a good sample of your speaking. Uh, when I've been on OET uh, training courses, they often talk about getting a good sample from the speaking. That means OET want a good five minute range of your speaking skills, okay? So the interlocutor is there to help you to do that, even though they might be an, uh, playing an angry patient in the role play, okay? So I hope that was useful and I'll see you in the next video.